we're going to make some potato pancakes. And not the shredded kind, only because I like perfect looking potato pancakes. And to me it's just easy to work with like this. So I'm going to grind this up, make a little batter, and I'll show you how simple it is. Potatoes, onions, I'm using red onions because I want to see the color in there, but you don't have to. Egg, flour, salt and pepper. If it's done in the right ratio, everything, delicious potato pancakes. Not greasy, light, tender. I put Let's the potatoes and the onion in my little food processor, because I'm not making a lot. And That should do it. Too big. So we have chopped here and we have ground. And I'll just move everything down. Take a look at it. That looks good. Not too big, not too small. Now I'll take this and put this in a chinois and let the liquid, the water that's in the potato, the onion, drain out because we don't want watery potato pancakes. As you can see, the water is dripping off of the potato and the onion. I mean the juices from each. So we'll let this sit for about 15 minutes. Don't worry about the potatoes getting discolored. It's not going to happen. And this water, this liquid, you don't want in the potato pancakes. You don't want to use a lot of flour. So that's why all the liquid has to be taken out. Meanwhile, while we're waiting, I'm going to crack an egg, put flour, salt, and pepper in there, and we'll proceed from that. So now the skillet is preheated because once we mix into the batter, fresh parsley, everything's in there. I'm putting the potato in and I'll show you the right way and the wrong what happens when you don't do it. Now I'm supposed to put in here only the amount, in here only the amount of potato that will be used immediately and I'll show you what happens if it's not don't forget this is seasoned a lot of people make potato pancakes and they don't season them that's because they know what happens to the uh, to the mix it becomes watery and then you have a problem so we're putting the best way to cook this is in chicken fat but it's probably the, wet, the worst for you so I'm using olive oil, you can use whatever oil you like. And I'm using a very small scoop, and I'm making the size for like an hors d'oeuvre. But you can make them larger. So we quickly just take, take it like so, and put it in there. Just flatten it down a little. And one potato actually makes quite a bit. I like using a, a, an ice cream scoop for many things. The reason being uniformity. And it, it, the items come out easier than if you were using a spoon. I'm going to show you what's happening in here already and what usually those making potato pancakes in restaurants have to do to correct the problem that I'm going to show you in a few minutes. 
Okay, moderate flame, a little bit more. And when the potato pancakes are brown on one side, then we'll turn them over. So no sense in wasting film. I'll show you when it's when it's time to turn, you usually see a light brown color around the edges. So it's time to turn them. Isn't that a beautiful color? Yep. That is. And I like I always like to put parsley in potato pancakes, just for the looks. And these, and these are perfect for like a little hors d'oeuvre. You pass this with maybe plain applesauce or applesauce mixed with uh, cranberry sauce. Well, go on the internet and find out what you can pass it with. There's a lot of things. Uh, sour cream. If it's not uh, going to be a kosher affair, where you're going to have meat. Other than that, sour cream goes great with this. And applesauce. But do you see what I mean about uniformity? Easy, too. And I'm getting the... I smell potato and I smell onion in the air. And that's a good thing. And if you see the flame, mm, it's moderate. Now I'm going to show you something here. Look what has happened in the bowl with the remainder. I don't know if you can if you notice how watery the mix is now. So what usually happens if you make a large batch like this and only cook a little bit at a time, more and more water comes out of the uh, potato, making this very loose. And what do they have to do to fix that? They put flour, and then what do you get? Sponges! Okay, so what, what you should do, this amount can be cooked in a larger skillet, one shot, and you're done. And this is like one potato, it's like a half a pound, and it makes quite a bit. So this will take another minute or two. Don't waste the film. People get bored looking at a skillet doing nothing. So when you see both sides, golden brown, like so, we're done. You take these out and just finish up the rest. But I am not going to add any more flour to this mix. I'm just going to use it as it. See the water? Look. So what I'll do is I'll pour that off. <clears throat> and this has made. Like I said, quite a bit. Didn't take much time. Just cutting up the potato, putting it into the uh, grinder, or if you like to uh, shred it, put it into your shredding device. And we have made uh, very nice 16 little bite sized pieces of potato pancake for passing or you can make three large ones. How's that? They're about like five scoops a piece and you cook them the same way. No different. This is a great item and let me taste one. Just the right amount of potato, perfect amount of onion, and if I will make adjustments on the salt that I put in there because my wife likes things salty. 
but this can take a hair less. Otherwise, it's delicious. I hope you enjoy.